So I'm walking Phoenix around so that she pees. I know I've been kind of ignoring this vlog as of late. I'm really sorry for starting this vlog and then ignoring it for a couple months. I'm ready to start up again. I can give you a status as of today and then I was thinking about... <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna give you guys a status. <laughs> oh my gosh, Griffin! <laughs> she can't play with you right now. I was gonna give you guys a status of like, you know, how we're doing these days, and then also just give you a couple clips of stuff that happened in the last, in the previous weeks that we missed. Oh my gosh. I need to show you this right now. What are you, what are you grumbling about? These two. What? I'm following Phoenix around with a sling right now. She needs my help. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Phoenix, don't get too excited. Griffin's like, play with me. Play with me! <laughs> Phoenix is like, I don't want to play, woman. <laughs> you can go over there. I'll follow you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, relax yourself. <laughs> he almost ran into the pole. Now you can go and walk by yourself. Good job. Phoenix's bowl is just in the middle of the floor because it's where she was this morning, so I bring her food to her. I don't know if you ate it. Did you eat it? Did you eat her food? Is that yes? Come down here. Good morning. <laughs> nice job. Well, drive this way. Don't go over there. Okay. It's 10.21 p.m. Tomorrow's Tiny's birthday. I got all my supplies here. This is his favorite. Um, I have an idea for what I'm trying to do with this cake. And it has something to do with this. And it has something to do with these. That's right. These are going to be a part of the cake. Yes. Can I help you? <laughs> Sometimes I'm a little bit extra. <laughs> come on, baby, come on, you're going, you're going. Yeah. 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 Woo! Hooray, hooray! Nice job, dude. She yelled at me to go outside and all she wanted to do is this. Are you happy now? We are almost home. Poor Phoenix is limping. We weren't even out for like five whole minutes. Can you drive us home please? We partied too hard. You drive us home. All right, kiddo? He's our D&D. He's our D&D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, drive us home, bud. Except don't change this. Oh, he turned it on. Uh, excuse me. We can't leave yet. Daddy's still loading the truck. Oh, you turned on the radio. Do you know, do you know what you're doing? Do you know how to work this thing? Yeah. Yeah? I hate to be such a Debbie Downer all the time, but poor Phoenix. She had another seizure last night. Just a focal seizure. I know, girl. And this morning, she had a generalized seizure with her full body. Came out of it, then went right back into a focal seizure. So we went to the vet again, and uh, they took a look at her 
levetiracetam levels, which is the other drug that she's on. <sighs> I'm so sorry, girl. And, uh, since we were trying to stop whatever cycle or pattern is happening right now with her, it seems like when she has one seizure, she has a bunch, so they gave her a an injection of her medicine so it would work faster, like an extra dose, just to just get that cycle out of her system and hopefully stop whatever this pattern is. I know. So she is drugged up right now. She's just been, when I came downstairs, she was just like laying on her back. Um, and I'm working from home today so I can keep an eye on her. And uh, hopefully she doesn't have any more seizures. But in other news, I also scheduled her knee surgery. We were hoping her seizures would be regulated by the time we had to schedule the knee surgery, but I don't think we can wait any longer. The good news is at that uh, animal hospital, they have neurologists on site. Um, so if she does end up having a seizure while she's in surgery, they can inject her with medicine and it should stop it. Caliper. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Check it out. We put up lights. Do you like those lights? Yeah, we just turned on here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where's Phoenix? Oh. Hi. Hey, we're outside. We're going to our my car. Are you ready to go? <laughs> I'm so excited. Are you ready? Are you ready? First run ever. I know, Phoenix. I'm sorry. You can't go, okay? I don't want you to hurt yourself. No. I'll take you after for a short walk. Good girl. Ready? Hike. That's a good doggy. Okay. Verdict on first run. Griffin's actually not very fast. I can actually run faster than her. So we can work on that, girlfriend. All right. Guess who's back? How you doing? Did I wake you up? So she's back from the hospital on some drugs. How was it? That's where her little IV went. She had an IV because. Since she has epilepsy, they wanted to easily be able to give her anti-seizure medication if she was having a seizure, but she didn't. And uh, her leg that was operated on is on the other side. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go in the house and uh, take Griffin and put her in the backyard so I can just open the front door and carry Phoenix in. She has a sling right here, but, you know, it's not very far, so I'll just do that. All right, what's the damage? What'd you do? What'd you do? What did you do? <laughs> okay, okay. How you feeling? Hey, you broke out of your crate today. You okay? You okay? Oh my God, Griffin! So clearly Griffin is too strong for this crate. Go! All right, I'm going to go get your sister. You can, you can lay down. Why don't you lay down before I let Griffin back in? Oh, look at that chicken leg. She looks like, oh, Phoenix. You look like you're wearing a sock like halfway off your foot. I'm sorry, you must not be happy about that. Her sutures are on the other side right here. Sorry to get so close to you, Phoenix, but we're going back in two weeks to get those removed. But so far she's doing really well. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna let Griffin back in. I think she's gonna be fine. And then you guys can eat dinner, okay? There she is. There she is. 
Phoenix, be nice. You're such a jerk. Griffin's given her her space, and Phoenix isn't feeling so good, so I can see why her teeth are out. Yeah, a couple days before the surgery, she started getting really unhappy with Griffin, so um, I think she just really wasn't feeling well. Your job is to be extra super nice, okay? I know you're nice, but you gotta be extra nice. Guess what? I came home today and nothing was destroyed. And you even sat here and played with the toy. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I worked with Griffin a lot this weekend. Um, just letting her know that I come back every time I leave the house. And <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And I actually left her in her kennel this morning. She ate her special treat that she eats in her kennel, which are just whimsies. But I left the door open so she didn't have to like stress about it. And I quickly checked the house. I don't see any pee or poop anywhere, especially in her usual spots. I checked on her on the camera a couple times today and she was just laying here. And I'm so proud of you, I'm so proud. You did a great job. I am so proud. See, now you know I come back every time. I come back every time. I do. I really do. I'm never going to leave you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now I'm going to have to get your sister out of the uh, kennel. Phoenix hasn't been in here all day, so I have to help her out so we can go to the bathroom. How you feeling? You feeling okay? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yes, I know. I know. You did such a good job today. I'm so proud of you. Oh, she's sitting on my feet. Okay. Yes, you did great. I know. I'm going to help your sister out now. We're going to go outside, okay? Look who's helping me change the light in my car. That's right. You're helping me. She's not going anywhere, so, uh, that's a sling under her butt. Yeah, so my tail light is out. This one got jealous, so she's helping too. Good job, girls. Oh, hey. What do you think that is? Behind that rock or far, far away? Oh, you're coming to me? <laughs> We're doing this. I'm in the Jeep. Got a spotter. I got Phoenix back here. I got my nephew back here. We'll see how we'll see how this goes. Yeah, so we're backing up. We're backing up so that we can attach to the Jeep because Mommy's Jeep has no clutch anymore. The clutch went out. And try to pull up to the top of the hill. Okay, we're going to try to pull up to the top of the hill. Here we go. Here we go. We're pulling it. I'm going to try to push it into this spot over here. They're pushing it. They're pushing it. Mommy's Jeep. So we think it's the clutch. I have a, I have a manual. So basically, he was saying when he went to shift into second, it just and then nothing, nothing came out. Everyone's working on my car, and I'm watching the babies. Basically, watching the babies do my favorite thing. Hi. <laughs> this is my nephew. And this is my boo boo. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, that's right. You tell her. <laughs> Don't sit on her. What is your deal? Seriously? <laughs> you tell her. You tell her. Tell her what's up. This husky's laying in the shade. Makes sense, right? Laying in the shade. This husky wants to lay in the sun. You're weird. This is hot. She just wants to do this all day. Um, okay. Is that good? I like green. You like green too? This is the one you didn't like. Mm-hmm. Not this green? Yeah. Quick update on Phoenix's status. She is now three and a half weeks post-op. Four weeks post-op? She's now four weeks post-op. And she is going to have her four-week x-ray on Thursday this week. So we're going to see how everything is healing. And then maybe we can take her off of some of her pain meds, which she's still on right now. Griffin is doing really well, actually. She's only having a couple accidents in the house now. I honestly think it was just a confidence issue. So when she first got here, she just, like, ripped the place up and got real nervous anytime I left the house. And she would, like, literally follow me around everywhere and be attached to me because she was just afraid that I was going to leave. And now that she knows she lives here, because you live here now, you live here, this is your house now... Um, she seems to be doing really well. She's got a lot more confidence. She's been challenging Phoenix, especially since Phoenix is out of commission because of her surgery. She's, Griffin's kind of been like trying to steal her bed and like eating her food. <laughs> so the two of them are having a little, you know, oh, just fart. But she is being very polite. Like, you see how she just waited for Phoenix to finish drinking the water before she, like, got all up in her face. Um, we notice that when we leave the house, Griffin will eat anything, any food item that is out and in her reach. And she can reach the counters and the tall tables. So, we were actually out with my sister and my brother-in-law when they were here. And we had um, a whole package of tortillas like sitting here on the counter and she hopped up and grabbed them and ate the entire bag of tortillas. She seems to really like toys so she's been hoarding them in her kennel and she takes them out like every day. I've pushed her kennel up against here so she can't get to the shelf with all the dog treats and stuff on it and uh yeah see how she's like hoarding a couple toys in here and she's also realized that the kennel is not a scary place but if you look this is where she broke out of it. Like, <laughs> she's bent this entire thing. She's broken two of the welds here. We actually tried to reinforce it. Um, one of our friends suggested that we reinforce it. So we put some carabiners here and over here. And she actually, <laughs> she didn't get out, but she broke. Let's see if I can show you guys. She completely broke the floor of her kennel. I was so impressed but also terrified. We haven't been locking her in there and it actually has been working out. She goes in there when she wants to, you know, like relax and just be away from everybody and hide her toys. And I put her food in there because we were having a hard time feeding her, like getting her to eat. And the first time I really saw her like chowing down was when I put the food in her kennel. And so yeah, that's the update as of today. Griffin girl doing well. Phoenix doing really well. Shake. Good girl. Griffin knows a whole bunch of tricks. And uh, we just had pet con this past weekend, so they're exhausted, and they met, like, a ton of people. This one is a professional, so she smiled for everyone's pictures. And uh, this one's kind of new at pet con, so she's not quite there yet. She, like, blinks in every photo. But she did so well with people coming up to her and petting her and meeting her, so that was 
awesome. Phoenix was only there for half the day. I wasn't gonna push her too hard, but she was actually pulling me a lot. The arm that I was using, my Phoenix was on my right. My right arm was super sore the next day, and I was like, what did I do? And it was just, because it was me holding Phoenix back from like going wherever she wanted to go. I was super worried that I pushed her too hard, but literally the next morning she had gotten out of her kennel herself and then started eating whatever treat Griffin left in there. So girl, you're gonna have to stop leaving stuff around because Phoenix can now get to it. And she is the queen. The last thing I wanted to give you guys a preview of is Griffin's adorable underbite. <laughs> Look at that cutie underbite. It's so cute. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the vlog here. Hopefully, you all forgive me for kind of ignoring this channel for a bit. But I really do want to keep up with it. And I love sharing these girls' stories with you. That's right. You're the best. And you're the best. Look at them. Griffin's going to try to touch her paw. Are you going to hold hands? And you guys are going to try to hold hands? You don't want to hold her hands? Oh, okay. Well, I'll leave you alone. I got to give you your medicine anyway. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.